Los Angeles on gas prices that just keep spiking. Susan Lee on food price spikes that show no sign of ending. We're going to begin with Kelly. Story. Susan. That's right. So with 40-year high inflation, U.S. households are facing sticker shock when they go to the grocery store or if they're choosing to eat out instead. And that's because over and over again, every major food and consumer company are hiking their prices. So Kraft Heinz warning now that prices for Miracle Whip and Maxwell House coffee are going up this summer. In fact, Kraft has raised prices nearly 14 percent the past two years. And same thing as well for Oreo cookie maker Mondelez, Campbell Soup, meat producer Sanderson and Tyson in foods. Now, if you're going out to eat instead, restaurant trains are doing the same. Think of McDonald's, Shake Shack, and Cracker Barrel. They've all said that higher meat prices and other input costs mean that they have to raise menu prices. The Golden Arches have upped their prices by 8% in the first quarter of this year. Now, if you haven't noticed any sharp price increases for your everyday items, that's because companies are doing something a little bit more subtle, getting you to pay the same, but for less. Shrinkflation is what it's called. Look at this list of items items that you're paying the same for, but getting smaller amounts of. So less toilet paper, Kleenex, chicken wings, coffee, conditioner, chips and Gatorade, all examples of shrinkflation. And companies being companies, you know, they need to protect their profits, please shareholders. And they will say inflation is sitting at 40-year highs and we have to pass the cost on to consumers. Now, even if you're cooking yourself these days, you saw the biggest jump in grocery prices in 40 years last month. Eggs were up by a third. Meat prices have surged. So have dairy and Wall Street. Yes, they have rewarded companies have been able to pass on the higher cost of consumers over the past year. But that sell off today, Charles, tells you that there's this realization that rates need to go up faster. They need to go up higher in order to fight inflation. So all stocks are getting hammered in this as we await that uh, central bank federal reserve decision this Wednesday. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. Certainly not today. Susan, thank you so much. In fact, folks, stocks plunge.